Good evening. I'm Pastor Vance Mortensen coming to you with the evening prayer for this week. Thank you for joining the Racket Lake Chapel virtual community and and uh, worshiping with us and, and praying with us. Tonight I'm going to be using a service out of the Celtic Daily Prayer Book. It's the Northumbria Evening Prayer. Before we get started, if you would like to look online, you'll be able to follow along with us. But before we begin, once again, thank you all for joining us. Thank you for your comments and things that you've sent via email. It uh, means an awful lot to our community. So let's begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord, hear my voice. With my whole heart I want to praise you, O Lord, hear my voice. If you, Lord, should mark iniquities, who could stand? Who could stand? I will wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in the Lord's word do I hope. Lord, you have always given bread for the coming day, and though I am poor, today I believe. Lord, you have always given strength for the coming day, and though I am weak, today I believe. Lord, you have always given peace for the coming day, and though of anxious heart, today I believe. Lord, you have always kept me safe in trials, and now, tried as I am, Today, I believe. Lord, you have always marked the road for the coming day, and though it may be hidden, today I believe. Lord, you have always lighted this darkness of mine, and though the night is here, today I believe. Lord, you have always spoken when time is ripe, and though you be silent now, today I believe. Scripture piece I'm going to read uh, for our service tonight is from the Revised Common Lectionary, and it's really uh, it, it's really the second lesson. And the scripture which I've uh, printed out here is from First uh, John chapter four, verses seven through twenty-one. Beloved, let us love one another because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only Son into the world so that we might live through him. In this love, not that we loved God, but that we, he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we ought also to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us and his love is perfected in us. In this We know that we abide in him and he in us because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Savior of the world. God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God and they abide in God. So we have known and believe the love that God has for us. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness on the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There's no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, for fear has to do with punishment. And whoever fears has not reached perfection in love. We love because he first loved us. Those who say, I love God, and hate their brothers and sisters are liars. For those who do not love a brother or sister whom they have seen 
cannot love God whom they have not seen. The commandment that we have from him is this, those who love God must love their brothers and sisters also. Sometimes scripture, when we hear it or read it, may take us a while uh, to absorb what's there. For me, this is one of those passages, and if you struggle with this a little bit, I advise you to take some time, open up your Bibles, and take a look at this passage. Take your time. Read it slowly. If you need to, stop after every phrase or every sentence and, and just let your spirit that is part of you absorb that at its own pace. That's 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 through 21. Let's continue with our service. We come at a time now where I would invite your prayers, people that you would like to offer up, and your petitions that you would like to offer up. Let's pray for others. God, I offer up prayers for healing for Barbara and Keith, Elizabeth, Jasmine, Mia, and prayers for those who are their friends and family who in this time are comforting them. Lord, I pray for all those who are suffering from severe weather. Lord, bring peace to your troubled world, especially in Israel and Gaza, Ukraine and Russia. Lord, we give you thanks for everything that you have given us, your love and your grace, which are boundless. Hear our prayer. In the shadow of your wings I will sing your praises, O Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the refuge of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? In the shadow of your wings I will sing your praises, O Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, one thing I seek, to dwell in the presence of my God, to gaze upon your holy place. In the shadow of your wings I will sing your praises, O Lord. I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Oh, wait for the Lord. Have courage and wait. Wait for the Lord. In the shadow of your wings I will sing your praises, O Lord. Our concluding blessing. See that you are at peace among yourselves, my children, and love one another. Follow the example of good people of old. God will comfort you and help you, both in this world and in the world to come. May God bless you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. May you have a blessed evening and a blessed week. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.